Hi Capricorn, this is your reading from the 26th to the 2nd of October 2022. Wow, doesn't time fly past? Only two, three more months before Christmas and then the end of the year. But before that, I don't want to live, uh, wish my life away. I don't mean that I'm just indicating or making an indication that time passes by too quick. We are in Mercury retrograde until the 30th, then it will go direct again, but it will have a tail end until the 14th of October. Also, we'll have the new moon on the 28th, so you might be uh, sensitive to three days before and after. Also, because of the Mercury retrograde, don't sign anything and be careful with electrical and mechanical things. Also, we are in Libra, so the energy has changed to swiftness, eagerness to uh, do research or gain knowledge or communicate more. Also, um, seeking the truth and keeping things transparent. So that's the energy that we have around us. Also, Libra is well known to love the lap of luxury. Also, weighing things up. We could be weighing things up this month more uh, for, uh, for security or guarantees. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. I'm using the Bride's Tarot. You come in with Libra, uh, or rather the Justice card, and the Justice card represents Libra. You might be in a ju ju judicial situation, or you could be dealing with authorities. You could be signing contracts, you could be getting married, because this could also be the Justice of the Peace. And if you are in a judicial situation, going to court, then you will get what you deserve and so will the other. Also, number eight means the house of power. You are in your power and the house of money. So you could be signing a contract to make more money or things like that. This could also be legal documents coming your way, like the real estate document or the marriage certificate. Who knows? You've got the magician lying underneath it, so there is a new beginning once you get the justice. Um, also, the magician means that you have the key. You hold the key and magic to your own success in making decisions or making choices. Keep things transparent and stay on cue, then you will benefit uh, in the situation with justice. Also, uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini um, or an Aries, as the magician represents these two zodiac signs. Right at the beginning, this is the overall energy. At the beginning of the week, you might be getting bored or you might be stuck in your, your mind. Look at her. She's depressed. She's bored or she's worried or stressed. This could be you. Get out of your mind. Don't sit on your laurels. Take action. Just press that reset button and think about something that makes you happy or go back to an old memory that made you happy. That will set the motion in action for change and ask the angels and the cosmos and the divine to help you. Also, be aware of what is happening around you and not just in front of you because there is an offer or an opportunity coming in given to you by the divine or the cosmos or both. You've also got the seven of wands. It makes sense that if you are in a judicial situation that you want to defend yourself. That's the only time that you have to justify yourself in authorities or with authorities, not to family or friends. They should help you and support you in everything. If they think you're making a wrong choice or a wrong decision, like the magician is that makes decisions and choices, then they should say, make us uh, give you a suggestion, not go into dispute with you. Seven also means good luck. Yes, you can say yes, you can give me a suggestion if you think there is a better way of doing things. Well, most probably they will um, say, don't create illusions, so then you won't have any dissolutions. Stay with your true self, tell the truth, 
tell the story the way you see it in court. Anyway, that is what you always have to do. If you uh, have an opinion, a difference of opinion with somebody, then try to talk um, on mutual ground and sort it out. Do the research where necessary. So the time is ripe or fertile to start something new. This could be the birth of a baby or finding out that you're pregnant since you've got the Empress. The Empress is also known as Mother Earth. She represents a mother, a mother-in-law or somebody that you see as a mother, a mother figure. Also, if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you're too mature to get pregnant, you might be hearing news that somebody is giving birth or is pregnant. Now, you could be investing in something new, whether it's with your heart or whether it is with uh, material goods like money. Make sure that you know what you are sowing, then you know what you're going to reap. But nurture it and stay on top of it and be clear on how to nurture it and make it grow to success so that you have a big harvest to pluck when it's there. If you've previously already invested in something, then you could be harvesting this week. Also, you have the two of ones, making plans for the future. You could be partnering up. This means that you could be getting married because we do have the justice of the peace. So the opportunity might be a proposal. Also, we have that priestess. The priestess is also known as the high priestess. She represents the three or the three moons, the triple moon. So you could be sensitive um, around the 28th or the 26th. As we have a new moon and we do have two twos. So the angels are definitely showing that they got your back and they're protecting you. Also, play your cards close to your chest. Don't let on to everybody uh, your secrets. Also, um, that you might be getting a promotion, recognition, your official documentation, because you've got the three of coins. That means um, recognition for your hard work. You're no longer the apprentice. You're fully qualified, so you could be leading a group. So that means a, com uh, a promotion. If it's not a promotion, it is a wage rise, but definitely you are good in working in teams. You've also got the card of temperance, number 14, that which comes becomes a five. You're halfway there, so don't give up. Just keep on multiplying um, the good stuff so that you have completion with the 10. Now, um, the temperance uh, card is represents Sagittarius, so you could be dealing or meeting with the Sagittarius. But the 14 becomes a 5, so you're halfway in something. But don't be tempted. Stay on the straight and narrow. Keep things clear and precise. Okay? The word temp, temperance, temptation, um, that is what I always, it always shouts at me when I get the card temperance. Temptation, don't be tempted. Stay how you are, but also improve yourself. Don't go back to old habits. Also, trying to keep the balance between the work front and the home front, or between your heart, your mind, and your soul, or between your heart, your mind, your soul, and your body. Trying to take enough rest so that you are rejuvenated to get things done because there will be something coming in that needs your attention there's an opportunity also we have the groom of cups that's the knight of cups so there you go you've got cancer you've got scorpio and it's Scorp will be scorpio time very shortly so if it's not going to happen now it could happen in scorpio time that will be around the 20th 21st of october so don't fret because time is man-made, but it can also be a Pisces. So definitely we've got Pisces and Cancer here, but definitely all three of them there. We've got Libra twice, the Justice and the Empress, and we've also got the Aries and Gemini here. Wow, 
so definitely you've got a lot of beautiful cards now i hope that resonates with you just take it slowly don't get stressed out don't get depressed come out of your head and get back into balance okay because you will have recognition there will be magic in the uh, in the air not only because of the magician but also because you're strong enough and you've got luck on your side you've got the angels on your side wow also um listen to your intuition you've got that on your side as well if you know how to use it then you won't lose it okay we've also got the card from the answer of the angels be assertive yes don't be stuck in your mind because and um because uh, if you don't come out and take action then you can't be assertive because you're not going to see the opportunities coming in your way wow beautiful beautiful reading i love this we have the dove from the Wis mystical wisdom cards in the oracle deck that was given to me uh, by brenda tarot readings do visit her channel she's a lovely la lady she's also a reiki master like me and a reader the dove peace will be restored remember you've got the world here as well so i'm getting the feeling that uh, you the world is your oyster okay you could be connecting with people from the other side of the world through cyber as well take a leap of faith well that is a new beginning as well confirming the other cards the magician beautiful so make, make your plans and it, you might be making your plans on your own at the moment but if you're partnering up then make sure that the plans are flexible so that you can make plans together together you stand strong remember that capricorn and i hope you have a beautiful week and i'm just i love these cards just look at it the flame so there could be a reignition of a flame something that you're passionate about and you've also got butterflies here so there is transformation coming in okay so don't be depressed you'll be fine be assertive the angels are with you take care stay safe and be blessed thank you